Hello, everybody. And happy Tuesday. Oh, it feels good to do that. This is a me moment. This is, I'm taking my time. Switch and I position. Absolutely. I have a Ben's haul for you today. It's from what, two weeks ago? Something and I'm like an that. art teacher. <laughs> cool, good luck tomorrow. How is everyone? How's it going? Happy Tuesday. Choice Tuesday. Welcome to Ryan's big old binge bash haul. It is a pretty big one, which I'm very excited about. Yeah, about what, like two weeks ago now, we did go to the bins together, Ryan. I think it was just like Ryan had a day off he wasn't expecting. Yeah, a we weekday. had a really random day off due to like road closures. Conferences. Oh yeah, that's And I was, was like, <laughs> time to go to Goodwill. So we went to the <laughs> bins together. And so since it was like, I think you found out like the night before, we didn't like plan on filming or anything because like I already had videos for that week yeah. and whatever so we didn't film us going but we did go and of course Ryan did as per usual fill a cart so he has all kinds of stuff to show you guys today I'm so excited but we're filming this on Lee Erickson day yeah happy, happy Lee Erickson day he's in charge hey everybody it's Lee Erickson day Hinga dinga dargan. Hope you had a fun St. Yeah, Patrick's Day. Yeah, hope everybody had a nice fun This is fun what we're safe, doing on ours. We're St. working. St. Patrick's Day. We're working. I have to work tomorrow, so I cannot do what I would like to do on What Saint most people do. Which is fine. Yeah, we but, celebrated last night. As per usual, there's lots of quirky, kooky things coming your way because oh, this is a Ryan's haul, not a, not a me haul, so. There's a little. The luxury there's might There's always be, a surprise. The luxury and designer might be turned down a bit, but the kooky, crazy, and the wacky. weird factor goes all the way up, man. Mm -hmm. Here we yeah. go. I will say everything's listed if you would like anything it is on poshmark ebay mercari depot coming up thursday favorite. is most likely going to be a day in the life and it's going to be me on a tuesday so that'll include if i possibly need to consign it all i'll probably do some shipping some mm -hmm. people have asked to see kind of an update on our storage unit and how our inventory that works so messy and so i was that's my bad i'll probably do a small <laughs> little rundown like update on like where we're storing stuff how we do our inventory but obviously not like a full-blown video i'll show yeah. the dogs i'll probably show Ryan once he gets home. I usually don't show him in the morning because nobody wants to wake up to a camera in their face right away. I also, man, I get up quick. Yeah. My mornings are like, yeah, I gotta get to work. So all kinds of Dark stuff now. that happens on a Tuesday. It's kind of my yeah. errands day, my shipping, and my yeah, you know, the catch up day. Yeah. Okay, so I think we will do this traditional style, and we will go bag, shoes, accessories, clothing, and stuff. I have two Ikea bags and a shoe bag, so I will try and go quickly. And a hat bag. I do have a, kinda. Kinda. A scary hat. Yeah, so let's just jump right into it. First things first, this adorable little lemon bag, and this does have a removable chain crossbody in here somewhere. She's just cute. Good for spring and summer. I thought it was gonna be Kate Spade. It is not. <laughs> but she is. <laughs> She's adorable. A little lemon moment. Okay, we'll get this out of the way. This is fun. I love these. This is a Disney. Oh my gosh, I couldn't think of this guy's name for a little bit. Mad Hatter, like hat you wear at the parks. These are so expensive. These are like $60, $70 if you buy them from any of those like little hat shops they have downtown. This one is also adjustable, which is wonderful. And I have this up to like, I think 40. What does the label look like in that? Because I would have no clue if this is like official. It says size adjuster. Oh. And then the Disney label is like... Oh, but there is a Disney label. There's a little... This little tag it has like the, a, like, the little Disney tag I wouldn't on. know if it's like a Spirit Halloween costume or if it's like a park thing. I don't know how to tell, honestly. So but you're just guessing? I have seen these there before, and I'm literally going off of the fact that like I have almost oh. wanted to buy one since I was a child. So it's experience-based. It is experience-based. It absolutely is. Okay. It's an acquired knowledge. Yeah, a few <laughs> other hats. This is a Harley Davidson cigarette hat, but I like this. I like the vibe it gives off. I think it's very like edgy. But this, unfortunately, the cardboard is a little broken, but I don't think that's that big of a deal when you wear it. Especially with the aesthetic of that. Yeah. I feel like a little like dingy and dusty is okay. Yeah. This is a Pendleton hat. This, I don't know when this one was from. I am not good at dating Pendleton like printed tags. I can do the like clothing tag pretty well. Extra large. So, good. Yeah. It's a little like, what were these called? Paper trapper hats? Or trapper, yeah. Little trapper hat. Yeah, keep your ears warm. It's probably a little bit newer, but not like crazy new. No. Oh no, it's definitely pretty old. It's made in USA and it has like that label. Good so. to know. Yeah. So this, I, this is I think the only thing I don't have listed. Um, I'll need to Google this one because I don't want to undersell myself. One, two more little bags. I love this bag. This is so beautiful. It's a vintage 1950s or 1960s for my research, a little blue velvet half moon bag. And this is my favorite part. 
She comes with a little coin purse still. <laughs> this is adorable. This is by Edwards Bags. And I love this little leg. Ooh, and the clear Lucite handle. I get like 60s vibes. This is perfect. This is so I cute. do love the handle. A good little summer moment. The velvet definitely shows signs of wear because it's like 60, 70 years old, but it's still a really cute bag. Mm -hmm. It's still really adorable. Okay, last little one. These, I always like picking these up when I find them for like spring and summertime. No brand, but it's just a really cute little like woven wicker canteen bag. And it has the nice little like leather strap to it. And it's all real leather, all the leather parts, yeah. you can tell. It's cute. Nice little pocket on the inside. Good little couple of, like, storage spaces. And I like that this one has the little, like, fabric thing to kind of catch it. Because some of them, you can't really fit anything in them. Do you think those are just, like, those, like, street bags from Italy or something? Or what do you, like, a vacation? I have no idea. Maybe. I, I know I've seen these at, like, TJ Maxx before. But mm. those ones, they definitely don't, like... This one's a little like, a like little, she's a little harder. And she's a little more structured. She's not leather, I feel like. Yeah. This one, it definitely could be like some souvenir, but it's really cute though. Cute, cute, cute. Okay. What? I lied. There's like one more bag. <sighs> I couldn't, I couldn't not leave it behind. Vintage XO, really cute little Y2K crossbody bag. These always do so good for me every single time. XO is another one that does really amazing because they make those like really good. Like really good style mini bags. Depop. The XO logo Absolutely. almost looks like a it looks like, like diesel. A, or like a car. Like a car emblem oh, it or something. Does. And I just like I could see this on like the grill of a car. Oh or absolutely. Something. Some little witch car. Or shady. Shoes. Shoes had a moment. First pair that I found. I love these. These are by the brand. Oh my gosh, what are they? Brat or something. Privileged. Privileged. They make like dancer shoes or just like really fun little quirky high-heeled shoes these have a little bit of wear on the inside of the ankle and then like right in the back where it would like bend but these are just so cool and they have the skull on them these are from one of the emos i just know it I yeah it matches so well and like i better pop them on that's a big shoe <laughs> that's a big shoe these are i want to say a size eight if yeah. i'm not mistaken a size eight very interesting shoe collection i have now acquired the next one will go in order of like most interesting to like most Normal. obscure these are really cute these are kohan which i didn't know i picked them up because they are very y2k they are the g series from kohan i have no idea what that means but they're leather and suede with this really cool like sporty material on it and they have the nike vibram sole so you are going to be fashionably comfortable which what a joy these are an eight as well so clearly they remind me of like the same woman old prada sport kind oh of absolutely sneakers. absolutely and i like this little like timberland kind of lace-up detail a little like ribbity do dad here we go these are a very expensive vintage brand that i had no idea about so if you find them get them david and saul is the brand of these. These are handmade wooden heels with an eel skin detail. I think this is snake. Snake skin. It's scaly. One of them scaly, one of them little scaly animals yeah. with the cork detail, the metal heel, and they've like never been worn. Huh. with the leather sole these are an eight as well so clearly same woman these look like a piece of furniture i know <laughs> they're so cool googling these to be like what in the heck did i buy they make some really funky ones that are so cool very excited for those okay these i think take the cake as the absolute weirdest they are by david c couture they have a 285 dollars price tag on the bottom of them. They have never been worn. These are a size seven. I have not been able to find out a ton about these, but they are all handmade. And they have this really amazing, like a very Gucci looking pony hair detail with the ankle strap and this like really good, clear Lucite heel. It gives me, do you remember when you found those Lucite heels and you'd put them up to your face? But and those would like warp my, yeah. No, these are like- These are very just like- These are real good. Just make these into a pair of sunglasses. That'd be so cool. Mosquito with 100%. <laughs> but like there's no wear and there's no like cracking or scuffing on the lucite, which is really cool. It's very soft to pony hair too. I know. And you can They're tell really it's well made. Like handmade with how the cuts are. They are really well made. David C. Couture, handmade in the USA. Google them, couldn't find a thing. If you know anything about these, please tell me. They give me Texas energy. They give me very Texas energy. Which... Texas. Texas. Okay, here's the chain for the lemon. Just to prove that I still have it. Really adorable little belt. Jack handed this to me with this, I don't know what stone this is. 
I forgot we live on a NASCAR oh, track. Literally. <laughs> Hi, everybody. I'm. Hi. You can tell by my hat today that I decided to live in the NASCAR. Yeah. Um, but I love. It has a snakeskin detail to it, and this is real snakeskin. It is by Selena Collections, 1986, and I love this little. I buckle. love the buckle. It's so pretty. Very like Art Deco. It is so pretty. Something adorable. Definitely a waist belt because she is kind of tiny. Really cute little Tweety visor. This is one of the vintage ones from the like 80s or 90s. The this cherry cloth. Yeah, it'll be a good little summer moment. This Jack handed to me as well. It is an Urban Outfitters scarf. I do not want to like unfurl the whole thing because she is a big one. But it's one of those really nice ones that has the like really nice tassels on the end of it. Mm -hmm. And it is really soft. Which blanket scarves have been super in like so each popular. fall for the past couple years. So I have one and I love it very much. Okay, let's... The clothing. Move into the clothing. I have a lot. I have a lot of clothing. The first thing is this really amazing flamenco dancer printed pajama top. I love this. Look at how detailed. Like all the different like pinks in her dress. So pretty. There is no brand on this one. But you can see one was There removed. was clearly one there at some point. Weird. But I just couldn't leave this behind. I love her. I think it's so cute. Well, and the stitching so is really, really good. I know, too. it's really well made. And it has like this trim detail. And it's like, really well made. I tried reverse image searching it and I couldn't find who made this, but like, I feel like it's something pretty nice. It gives um like Nick and Nora. Yeah, it's just something. It definitely doesn't seem cheapo at all. It, it is seems, adorable. Yeah. I do love her. Okay, I did find a fair amount of sweaters, but that's okay of because course. I'm not going to say no to these good sweaters. And also, now it's going to be 30 degrees every day for yeah, two literally. weeks, so who cares? <laughs> Lovely. This is a free people sweater, size large. I don't know if you'll be able to tell off the little hang tag, but this is a newer free people piece that I was very excited to find. It's the like make my day sunny day. Go on, make something, something, my day. <laughs> literally. It's a size large and it's newer because it has the little new size tag on it. But I was so excited to find this and I was nervous that it was going to be like, oh, this is one of those chunky knits where like you make one wrong move and the whole thing comes undone. It is in perfect condition. It is in good shape. Which I was very excited about. Tell. You're running out of room. I am running out of room. <laughs> okay, other sweater. Very excited to find this one as well. This is a plus, which is the Anthropology Plus size line 1x really adorable just like neutral white and or like beige and brown a little mock neck sweater i do love this and it's so soft it almost looks kind of like your free people when you like it kind of does almost. it does give easy street tuna vibes yeah. absolutely another jacket this is lane bryant really good plus size stuff this trip size 14 which i think is like a 2x if i'm not mistaken Really adorable, just a little like perforated floral bomber jacket, good for the spring. And I liked picking up, I really wasn't mad with getting all this stuff because like that free people sweater you can wear with a pair of shorts. That anthro sweater isn't like a thick sweater. Yeah. So it's good for like the spring and summer. This is me dipping my toe into Jack's pool. This is an Ever Eve piece, size small, really cute. adorable little short sleeve sweatshirt. It's really cute. I think this is another one of those like good transitional pieces. Really good spring. Yeah, exactly. This is very summer. This is super cute. No idea about the brand, but it's this really adorable little orange granny square. That's really cute. Crochet, a little crop top. It is by Julia by Love J. Never heard of her. It's so cute though. But either way, crochet is always handmade. It is. So. Yeah, I love this. And that nice vibrant orange. Oh, so cute. So pretty. Okay, Jack handed this one to me. This is an Urban Outfitters piece, size medium. Really adorable little like blue terry cloth sweatshirt. It gives very 80s. Very 80s, very I library. Really like the colors. I know, that like deep rich blue. Love that. This is a collab that I did not know existed. It is a Billabong and Wrangler. But this is just a really cute little like Western floral kind of printed t-shirt. Men's? Yeah. Yes. It is immense. I like this color too. Adorable. I don't That's know where nice. this was sold. I don't think it's like as expensive as some of the other like Wrangler, Wrangler collabs. Oh my gosh, I can't get my words out It's today. probably like PacSun. I was gonna say PacSun or like a Zoomies kind of a moment. You're doing sizes there. Oh shoot. You're out of your... I am this is a my, large. I am out of my comfort Men's zone. Men's large. Out of my comfort zone. Out of my... Out of your comfort zone. Out of my... I'm really out of my comfort zone. Out of my zone. groove. There we go. I'm really okay. out of my comfort zone on camera. This is really I'm making doing. me nervous. I'm just shy. Everybody's looking at me. This I picked up strictly because of the color. I thought it was cute. It is by the brand Willow, the label, which I've never heard of. Size extra small. Oh, just, that looks tiny. This is just a really adorable little green sports bra. 
And it does have the removable padding in it. Small. She's teeny tiny. For an extra small, she's she's real extra. Small. She is extra small. This brings me so much joy. It is a little Y2K baby tee with the big old wide neck. I love these. Jack handed this one to me. It's this really amazing, like Asian inspired print. And I love that it has all of this like beading detail. It's pretty. In the flowers. I am obsessed with this. The brand Masala, made in India. Masala. Masala, made in India. But either way, I and like look at that blue. That really big blue stripe on the bottom. Oh, yeah. I love it. Okay, this is vintage. I was very happy to find this. Ellen G. I don't know who Ellen is, but this is a very 70s, very adorable little tunic with the little half sleeve and the mandarin collar and the big old flowy 70s buttons. That's cute. It does have like one or two very minor runs in like, here's one in like the bottom of the fabric, but you, it's such a like vibrant pattern. You really cannot tell. No. I am obsessed with this. This with like a pair of bell bottoms. Yeah. <sighs> so good. Cute. I measured this out and I want to say it's like a size medium. That's if you're, what I would say. If you're interested, the measurements are in the listing. This is another little Y2K moment for Depop. There's no brand, but it's just cute. Little metallic floral like medallion lace kind of crop toppy little thing i like the, the like the, i like the trim the end ends in like the shape of the floral versus being like a straight cut off yeah. seam or something it's really cute and i like the little metallic detail to it yeah. i think that's really cute too that's like small extra that's small. very like barbie girl in the She's barbie world tiny. very barbie girl in the barbie <laughs> world immediately <laughs> this i can't pass these up i love them hard rock cafe washington dc Little vintage sweatshirt. I love the colors on this one with that like very 90s blue kind of a vibe. And then on the back, rock the world! Whoa! Rock and roll. Oh, oops. Either way. Reading. Reading is <laughs> fundamental and I am not a very good reader. Um, Again, like good colors, you know? And it's not like nasty. It's in really good shape. I thought for a little bit I heard that those were coming, like the hard rock stuff was coming back. I hope so. This one's a medium. Know. Medium, medium. I never I know. Love hard rock. I'm not on the pulse of the vintage. I used to own a hard rock cafe sweatshirt that I bought in Amsterdam and I don't know where it went. It makes me so a sad. Lot of them. I should. I know. This is Abercrombie & Fitch, size small. Really love this. I think this is really cute. Just like a good little camo fleece jacket with the kangaroo pocket in front. And it has this like really cute little like side snap detail. I don't know. I like this. Very Even if it doesn't sell, I'll very take it. Minnesota girlies in Minnesota. Very the Minnesota girlies. Immediately. Immediately. Oh, this brings me joy. This oh, is yeah. so good. This is a vintage express piece, which is absolutely wild. It is 100% leather. Because, yes, they used to use it. I've had a vintage express suede model. But look at her. It's a vintage suede leather fringe vest. Cute. I love it. It's just like the plain brown satin on the back, but this fringe detail. Bring that, like, over this. Ooh. Well, <laughs> or just blocking yeah, it out. I yeah. think that would be cute. That would be cute. I think that would be a vibe. Yeah. Love that. That one With is a bottoms. one size. I think if you like, it looks like I'd say at most. I think if you're just like busty or just don't button it all the way. Yeah, you know. If you're like, gonna button just it, just have like a cute little open moment. If you're gonna button up, it goes to like a large maybe. I would say if that. you were gonna button it, I would second that. Okay, this dress, she's kind of a big one. I love her. I love this color. It's this beautiful like rust, deep rust orange, and this like, is by the brand Revelry, and it is a plus size bridesmaids dress. But you can just wear this to like some cute little formal events. Okay, here's the tag. It's like tan. It's with a really bit pretty. Of, just a titch of and orange. And it's just like a maybe? oh, it's backwards. Oopsie. It's this one shoulder moment with this really beautiful cute. like waist detail and the kind of like billowy sleeve and she is oh. a floor length moment with a, split. with a slit in the knee and I had a little heart attack because I googled it and it came up as ten dollars and that is the fee that you have to pay to try them on at home mm. so you try it on and then you pay a hundred ninety dollars for the one that you end up keeping mm. they're very expensive and now unfortunately all that I get on my YouTube ads are like revelry ads mm. I'm like, okay, that's great. This I just really liked. I thought it was nice. Polo Ralph Lauren, size medium, just like a classic men's plaid button down. These are expensive. 
These are really expensive. And I think polo is like having a moment right now. And I think I like, like the always preps right always want to wear something like this in the summertime. So I will sell that to them. I will the, give that there. I will give them an opportunity. Ryan says the preps as he's in a collegiate sweatshirt. My mom bought me this. <laughs> I love this. Okay. <laughs> this is Victoria's Secret size large. Is this one so? I do not think so, but I absolutely could be wrong. 100% polyamide. Nope. That's okay. Really adorable little flowy red camisole with the like lace detail. And I like this. Mm -hmm. This little like flouncy kind of a moment. It goes all the way around too. Yeah, absolutely adorable. This one's a size large. I did find some really good lingerie this trip. This is absolutely fascinating. I love this. And then I found a different top by this same brand at a different Goodwill. Like two weeks later. It is vintage dead stock, which means it still has the original tags on it. The brand is Fido, and it's from Jiangsu, China. And it's this beautiful vintage, I would say like 70s, 80s, red cotton robe, like kimono style robe with this cool dragon embroidered on the back. And like, this dude is detailed. Yeah. Like, this is done so well. And it has the little, are these snakes? I think these are snakes. It's just like- Maybe. Fringe. These little like detail kind of a situation on the front. And I love that it still has the original belt just like tied onto it so it doesn't go anywhere. This one is a size medium, but like, again, definitely you can wear this as any size, you know? But like, look at how detailed this is Yeah. on the back. Oh, that is a cool one. Another vintage piece. I Cute. love this dress. This is so good for like a vintage girl summer. Very 1950s, 1960s little mod shift dress. I don't know if this one is homemade. Because the edges are, oh my god, what's that called? Where you like, you run it through this like special machine and it like does this, this kind of finishing to it. I don't know. But it's this beautiful, like very fitted, baroque, kind of like geometric print. And I like the little bandana collar. It kind of looks like I it has really like sweet. pictures all through. They it. look like um little, oh my gosh, I'm not, not, not a cloche. Those little like, like. a locket type thing kind of. I know exactly what I'm talking about. It's those little picture-y things and it's like a woman's head. I don't know what, what it's called. Internet, help me. But I love the little cap sleeve and I love that it has like the nice length to it. It's not like a shorter dress. Mm -hmm. It'd be like a midi, midi length. Absolutely adorable. That one's like a size, like small, medium. Somewhere in there. Okay, we are coming down to the wire on bag number one. Another little Y2K moment. This is so cute. Charlotte Russe, which like absolutely kills me because I, as a mall kid, used to go to Charlotte Russe with my friends all the time. And you it makes me so- You shopped at Charlotte Russe? Oh, I would just sit there and hold bags. Okay. <laughs> so I like, would just really? sit there and hold bags. <laughs> it was awful. And it's funny to me that it has now come like full circle and it's been that long where like it's now considered Y2K. Okay. Either way, Charlotte Russe, size small, but like you can't go wrong. You can't go wrong festival. I literally, literally, and I was worried that there was no buttons on the like weird middle part, but I think that's because they don't want to put a button on something where it's kind of like stretch. Yeah. Where it's kind of like fit around you. But I love this top. Very Julie the American Girl doll. If you are a Laurie Tata stan, that is exactly who that is. <laughs> is. A Laurie Tata stan, they know. This is new to me. These are so expensive and I picked it up because I thought it was fun. The brand is Tasha Pelosi Collection. And I thought this was men's, but this is a woman's tunic and it's in this phenomenal like cowboy print. Where they're just like, what are they doing? Getting a drink? Making Cooking. some making some cowboy coffee or whatever the heck. And it has pockets, which we love a tunic with pockets. But these are like two hundred dollars. I can see that. They are so expensive. It's such a cool print. But like this print is also amazing. And I am really obsessed with these like really beautiful red it's like a pearl snap, but it's not like a pearl. It's like red something. Like a gem. Yeah. Like a red stone. But it is so Cute. pretty. This one is a size medium. That's a vintage I would pick up. For I don't sure. know if it's vintage though. I saw a lot of new ones. Oh, well either I think way, it's just like a really expensive I would pick Western wear brand. We are now on to bag numero dos. Right on top, I forgot I had this cute little bag in here. New and tag made well, and it says eye catching. Oh. Really adorable little like tote bag. Yeah, super cute. Super cute, super cute. Okay, this is a two piece. And because we live in Minnesota, everything that I find in the bins is golden gophers. So this is the little top. It's this really adorable little champion 
like spliced kind of crop top. This one is an extra small, but I like the little like champion thing. And I think the colors are really cute. Mm -hmm. I like that one. And then I found the matching skirt. That's really cute. So you have like a cute little, and there's a little U of M moment. This one does not have a tag in it. I feel like somebody probably took out the lining to this, but that's okay. Cause it's just like a little pleated skirt. And because I found them together, I'm calling them both a size extra small. I could see that. Which that makes sense. You know, that makes a lot of sense. She's cute though. These, hearkening back to another time. Looking in the crystal ball to five years ago, I would have picked up a hundred dollar bill. I did not, unfortunately. This is a pair of Spanx size small, really adorable little camo leggings. These are the tried and true ones, man. I don't think there will be a day where I won't pick them up. Oh yeah, no. Because they weigh nothing and they still sell. The Spank that was in What's Old Saturday from last week should have been in this haul because that's where they came from and I found them together. I miss her so much. She misses her sister. She misses her sister. <laughs> okay, I found one really good pair of Lululemon leggings. These are newer and they are a size... I found the size tag last time and now I have no idea where it went. I want to say they're size 10. Yes, you're not going to be able to see that. Size 10, but I think these are cute for spring. Really adorable little like blue. And I like this, this like magenta color they used. This like salmon kind of a situation. Yeah. It's really pretty. I do not remember the name of these. Um, there is the little Lululemon logo. These were in the back of a band that everybody had gone through. And I was like, thanks girl. But half of the people at the bins, like that's kind of what they're there for is like Lululemon. And then they miss one of the newer pieces. Like, okay. These are free people. I really like these. I think they're cute. Size small. Just like a really good little pair of lounge pants. I love these colors for spring. I think it's a little bit more yellow than it is on camera, but it's like, no, they're yellow. They're Just like kidding. nacho cheese color. Yeah, it's like a golden rod and like a green. Cute. I don't know what the green is, but they're just like a nice big old wide leg pair of pants. And I think this kind of like detail up at the waist is really cute. Very good spring summer. Yeah, good, or like these would be pants, good, good beach, beach pants, pants, you know? Yeah. Good boat pants. That's exactly what they're Pontoon. This is a find and a half. I oh, yeah. love this print. This is absolutely adorable. Really cute little midi length pencil skirt. It has the tie detail on the back. And this is a new tags J. Crew piece, size zero, $148. $148 have you they want. Look that. Is this like an art collab of any kind? Um, no? I don't know. I found one woman wearing it and she is wearing it with her really adorable little Louis pink speedy. Hmm. I think it's just like one of their funkier prints. It I gives know, a small world. I know some of the newer like Liberty, I mean obviously it's not Liberty, but some of the newer <laughs> Liberty ones I think don't even say Liberty. It's when you look it up it says yeah, like printed they used, Liberty they used or Liberty print. print or whatever. So like yeah. I wouldn't be surprised, but also like, who knows if that That's was some really kind of cute art. Though. Yeah. Oh, okay, this is a little piece of Y2K gold. I love this skirt. This is Vintage Cache, which is a really good Y2K brand to pick up. It's 100% silk and it is this beautiful tiered, ruffly, Almost. flowy, Cheetah print, cheetah print? Almost Stevie Nicks. I don't picture her wearing cheetah print, but the style cheetah is print, very like... maxi skirt. And the elastic in it is still going strong. I am obsessed with her. I love this. And the movement that you would get from this. Oh, it's like animal print witchy. I feel like the New York girlies would wear it with an anine, blah, 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 an anine Bing t shirt. Yeah. And pair of golden geese. Golden geese. Golden geese. Okay. A single spank and multiple gold pieces. Two? Oh, this is a skirt. This is by Natural Reflections. And I think it used to have like a leather tie in it at some point, but that has since been lost. But these, shockingly, are coming back in a style. These like longer denim skirts. But I like that this one has the pleat in the front and the kind of like little split moment. And the cargo pocket. And I now. love these like smock style pockets on the side. I think these are super cute. And also you could totally add like some tassel. You could add a scarf oh, type no, thing. No, you absolutely you could add a shoe lace like there's a lot of different stuff you could add to it you could tie you could put something really cute in there yeah yeah i love this you could this... even just put some kind of like hoop like keychain thing Ooh. to look like edgy yeah this is a size four so like 27 inch waist i love these and they are 
You could put so like a popular. clip on each and just add this like string of all different like keychains. Oh, or that something. would be really funny. I could see one of the R two D pop. Be a keychain girling. Yeah. Okay, what are these? Sound series? like you're like a box of nickels like walking around. Box of rocks. <laughs> Absolutely. This is a pair of free people jeans. These are a size twenty seven. These are so cute. I love these. Like a good old pair of distressed, high waisted free people jeans. There was one itty bitty little stain on, or there's I guess two itty bitty little stains on one of the knees. But like, you really can't tell. Yeah. And with all the distressing, like yeah. it just looks. I think these are really adorable. They're super cute. I like this, this little kind of like textury detail. Yeah. To it, I think those are cute. I did find a few more good pairs of jeans this trip. The next one is a pair of express pants, which I normally wouldn't get, but I love these and they're newer. They are the 70s mid-rise flare and size 10 regular. But like, look at how cute these are. Look at how cute these are. I love these. Oh, like wow. a good old mid-rise 70s bell bottom. And they're long too. So they got a little bit of drama to them. So this with the 70s shirt with the vest. Yeah. Oh, that would be really cute. Yeah. That would be a really cute little fit. And if these don't do good for me, like I can always take them to the consignment store. I just thought I'd give them a shot because I think they're really One, cute. One, those gotta be like a recent year. Yeah. I found a new repair of Joe's Jeans, which is another brand that I really don't pick up that much. But these I thought were cute. They are the Dahlia Cargo in size 29. And I just think these are really adorable. Oh, yeah. It's like a dark wash, really dramatic, cute. like... Yeah, no, okay, see, that's where I was at. These yeah, are adorable. I'd grab these. These are adorable. I love them. And they had a really good model picture, so like. I don't even know the last time I saw Joe's jeans that I even considered. See, and even that's the I was like, <laughs> I was like, oh, okay, I guess I'm hurt today. Another vintage piece. This does not have a tag in it, unfortunately, but they are oh, this yeah. amazing pair of gold, shimmery, high waisted. Crazy wide leg flare pants. They are a little see through. Well, it's interesting because, like, up to a light, I can see my hand through, but, like, you guys can't see my hand through this. Like, yeah. they're clear, but not clear enough or transparent enough to, like, see everything. Wear an undergarment that matches your skin tone, yeah. is what I would tell you. Don't wear anything like crazy colored. Yeah. But I, like, I just couldn't leave these behind. I think they're so fun and they're so perfect for the summer. I love them. Yeah. I and really if you're do, smuggling really in movie them. theater snacks, don't stand in front of a bright light or they will see That's an outline. They'll just see the all of the, the like candy cans boxes. of pop and the like snow caps. Oh, immediately. <laughs> immediately. Okay, so this is a men's bolo, I guess. <laughs> hidden Manhattan, New York. And I was like, oh, this is like the hidden from like Nordstrom Rack. Nay, nay. It is a pair of really thick mesh shorts and they have the little green H on them. This is like a streetwear thing. This is like for the streetwear bros. And I had these up for like, I think $80, which is a lot for a pair of mesh shorts, but like they sell for like 60 to 80 bucks, which is crazy. So, okay, here's the tag, Hidden New York. Or look for that little H, it's like large. I will say they kind of remind me of like shorts I'd wear in middle school. Oh, they definitely do feel those or like- elementary. They feel like those jerseys where they're like, you get a red one and you get a blue one and they are unwashed and disgusting. And this also kind of looks like a logo that would just be on some random like farming equipment. Like it kind of does. Or like, like a brand that like builds like corporate buildings of some yeah. kind. So I'm it's, assuming. A, it's an interest, but that's kind of like Very the streetwear vibe. Like you're like, do you work for waste sponsor? Was this free for you, or did, did you pay a lot of money for that? Was this three hundred dollars, or did you get that free from like some kind of convention job fair? And I don't think they know. <laughs> you know. I don't think they've come to that conclusion. Okay, the last little stop on our tour is a very, very, very beautiful skirt in a wonderful size. This is mod cloth in a size 24, which I love. Find a good plus size stuff. And this is a beautiful pocketed gold velvet skirt. And it has this really amazing matching lining in it as well. It's almost like a circle skirt. I was, I it is like a cute little circle skirt. I was so happy to find this. That's really cute. I am obsessed with her. I think she's so pretty. I love the, like, the movement that this has. Oh, I love velvet. Good old honey mustard skirt. That's all she wrote, folks. God, yes. this is a big trip. That's, that's all that, it's all Ryan's got for you. But also, he's already had su some success selling yes. a handful of things. If you remember what sold mm -hmm. Saturday this last week, like, what, three days oh, ago? Oh, the airy, that really adorable little airy lumberjane top the sold. Wilfred the Spank sold, Spank sold, Wilfred Cardigan sold. There was a few So, unfortunately, we weren't able to hop on it fast enough, but there's still plenty of School gets busy, and I get tired. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Ryan's 
Ben's had like a week of conference situations. He's had a week of just like extracurriculars after school. Yes, our contract is still not settled. So I was out picketing on Thursday, yeah. telling the folks to Support listen to the teachers. ones that need to be listened to. Yeah. So there's I'm been that. there's been a lot of stuff going on in Ryan's little schedule. I know my my teeny little schedule. Yeah. But I mean, like right. summer is coming up. Of course, still a little while out, but summer's coming up, and Ryan will definitely be able to be like back in basically every single video then immediately and there's even spring break which we're planning just to let you guys know we're planning to do the spring trend report during spring break mm -hmm. and mainly because that's just like the best way it can work out to have ryan be in both I because of five paid days to do anything yeah the whole of course we'll be doing the string the spring trend report and we'll be doing the mall r d mm -hmm. research and development trend hunt at the mall of america as well so so good we need the time for that and we will get the time during spring break dang right we sometime will. in april i do know that yeah so we will see you guys on thursday for a day in the life and then we'll see you of course on saturday for regular what's on saturday let us know what your favorite things were of ryan's that he found yeah and just a reminder everything is Everything is listed. Except the Pendleton hat. Not the Pendleton hat. Yeah. Everything yeah. else. So we'll see you when we see you, folks. Goodbye. Bye. Mm -hmm.